Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish the Conqueror, where we are still in Chind, or however you want to pronounce that, and we have a couple of buildings left to explore, including the left half of this building here, which I kind of forgot. Yeah, I, I mean, I saw the two doors outside, and I did notice kind of on some kind of, uh, you know, subconscious level that I only saw one set of doors on the inside. So yeah, that building definitely is a lot bigger on the inside, but uh, very... Uninteresting. Well, let's check out the tannery with uh, Master Zindelo. Hello. Between the curing leather and the graveyard next door, the smell the smells in here are troublesome, even by Carter standards. Okay, well, troublesome is uh, an interesting description for smell. Uh, nobody but you seems to notice. Of course not. The master of the workshop hurries up to you. A visitor, a customer. His unforced good cheer is a refreshing surprise. I'm Master Zindelo. Let me help you into some leather. Uh... Well, we'll see about that. Tell me about your crafts first. This is where fine Ukatish leather is worked into our unique swamp garments. Sadly, our work is always overshadowed by the fame of Ukatish iron, yet I assure you that our leather is unique in its own way. How is the leather obtained? Our swamps are full of huge lizards, terrifying snakes, and even the occasional naga. When we hunt them, we make sure to save their skins. They have unique properties. I guess they would, living in these swamps. What special qualities does your leather have? It is unusually warm, resistant to water, easy to clean, and well suited to travel through our swamps. Alas, it has a pervasive odor that can never ever be removed. It is a small price to pay. Hmm. You are unusually friendly. For the Okantus, you mean. <laughs> we are a crude people, but I'm less sensitive to it than others. You're less sensitive to being crude? Okay. I mean, you think this place smells terrible, right? Well, yeah, I mean... No offense, but any tannery anywhere smells horrible. Yes, but we needed to make leather, and we need leather to live in the swamps, so why worry about it? Exactly, I didn't bring it up. You did, by the way, just saying. Who cares what the Ariel think? They have a problem with it. They can come here and complain, and I'll deal with them myself. Okay, also I have no idea why you brought up the Ariel now, but, that's, you know, that's fine. You do you. Let me see your wares, I guess. Uh, cottage leather, swamp runner leather, hello... Well, I mean, poison resistance built in is nice, but obviously we don't really have much of a need for this. Or the Yokatish cap, I guess. Nah, this is not particularly special either. More physical than magical damage reduction. Eh. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. But uh, can we not sell to you as well? Can we? Wait. I would like to sell something. Oh, okay. Um, that actually sells for a lot. Holy crap. But yeah, we definitely don't need that. I mean, really, any kind of armor or weapon without uh, augment slots is not worth using for us. Fire turn augment. Magical evasion, right? I might want to use that, maybe. Um, yeah. Not the spear, though. Also sells for 50. And the surgeon's ring. I mean, that's not even considered particularly valuable. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine without it. Okay, well... Thanks, Guy, for being um, unusually friendly. That is appreciated in its own right. Uh, here we have the barracks. Let's see, Bjaran. Ah, of course, Bjaran. You have met this man before. He is the huge warrior who rescued you. Rescued? What? What are you talking about? I didn't es narrowly escape from Gennelspan, nor was I rescued by him. He was just standing there waiting, or... Did I miss something? Were there... Did, did a group of of, uh, of Ganel warriors spawn there by the exit, waiting for me, and I was I was busy fighting some snakes or something as as Garen and his guys took them out? I I don't know. Maybe that's that was the idea. I if so, I kind of missed it. I guess. Really strange. Rescued you and gave you your invitation when you emerged from Ganelsman. <laughs> I mean. I remember only him giving me the invitation, nothing about being rescued, but okay. He's not thrilled to see you, either way. He rises. Hello, Prince. I'm Bjarn, in case you forgot. I'm glad you arrived safely. Thank you for your help with the Ganel. Uh, uh, let's assume that that's actually what happened. Hmm. It was the Acting Lord's order, but you are welcome. He tests a barb on his spear with the tip of his finger. Uh, maybe he shouldn't do that. Uh, I'd like to know more about the Ukantish. Would I, though? 
I mean, it's always possible that this ends up with a quest, so sure. I had to bring you a message. I did. I command my warriors, but I'm not a teacher. I worry about clan business. Well, tell me more about your clan business then. It's not my place to tell you. I follow my orders only. Talk to Brecton, Co to Brecton Cor. He was made acting lord by Lady Brock. Tell me about Lady Brock. She is the true leader of, our, of the clan, but she is old. She is in seclusion. Honorable mourning. Okay. That's it then, huh? Alright. Fair enough. Oh, Master Mender, hello. But surely you will... Oh, wait. This is actually directly connected to the forge. Oh, okay. So these are both remaining buildings in one. Well then. Uh, the heat of this foundry is welcome after the chill of the Okantish fens. Muscular warriors are taking the ore and bog iron of the swamps and turning it into long black strips of proper ukat metal. Then it is worked into twisted weapons of unsettling viciousness. The master of the forge notes your attention and laughs. Ugly, eh? Are they? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe they are. Those blades and spears will make your enemies bleed. I'm Master Mender. Look freely. Our iron craft is the envy of Sacramentum. Well, at least the craftsmen here seem to be more proud of their work than, you know, overly touchy like everyone else. Tell me about your iron craft. Ukatish iron is unique. We make it into armor. We make it into armor, true. But our weapons, they are fine and truly ugly. Fine and truly ugly. Huh. They are the defense of our swamps, and we sell them to others for wealth and prestige. Watch all you want. We aren't worried. We have no secrets. You call your own weapons ugly? Weapons shouldn't be beautiful. Our spears are made to cause as much pain and, and harm as possible to those who abuse the Okatish. They are made to look like it. Okay, well, fair enough, I guess. Um... Uh, why do you let your rivals have your weapons? Yeah, that doesn't seem particularly smart. Because we use our barbed spears to defend the Ukat. Come into our lands and get a, get a ragged scratch from our spears and the infection will finish you. The Ukatish don't invade other lands. We are the victims of Sacramentum. Right, of course you are. Uh, you have no secrets? There is no secret to how our weapons are crafted. It is just good Ukatish iron. The gift of our sacred land. You can't steal that. I mean, we could steal the iron, but... We're not going to. Well, I'm not going to. Hmm. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get a quest from him either, I suppose. That's fine. We'll just take a, a polite look at his assortment of things. Barbed spear, barbed glaive. Oh, okay, just a slightly better version, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, obviously we don't need any of that, and we already sold some stuff, so... Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. Well, with that, we're done here then. That being said, we have plenty of things to do. So, I think I want to head on over to Fort Darkfen to get that going. And then we're probably going to be do some traveling back and uh, reporting in some success. So, I'm just going to follow the road, see if we can maybe discover some more locations. There's some people just waiting here, not moving. Oh wait, this is these must be all workers. This is probably already the the fort. Yeah, must be. So what's down here then? What's actually on the other side of, of this here? Does this connect to anything? Doesn't look like it does. How weird. Well, I mean at some point this wall of trees here must be must must open a passage for us. Right, Ganon Estate to the west. That's true. I guess we might as well discover that on discover that on the map so we can travel there. Signs tell you that the Ganon clan lives on the peninsula to the west. You can see their colony defended by a thick, high wooden palisade. You remember how hostile they were to you back at Ganon Quite an insult. Their defenses are powerful, easily enough to protect them. Easily enough to protect them. Oh, they are easily enough to protect them from the crowds of unorganized swamp runners. You, on the other hand, are a properly trained and equipped Havenite. Seems like a tough fight, but doable. Well, assuming there isn't just a locked door and that locks me out. Because uh, that kind of thing I just can't do anything about. You have the displeasure of meeting more warriors of the Ganel clan. Oh, I th somehow thought these were my people, but they are a little bit too far away from the forge, I suppose. Well, they are angrily watching Fort Darkfen from this tower. Uh, their leader wears a sash with green and black stripes. He walks forward and sneers. Hope you Havenites are enjoying Ganon lands. Uh, Ganon lands? This plot belongs to Haven by treaty. 
We of the Gannel do not recognize that treaty, and we never will. Well, okay, I mean, you're free to disagree, but that's not going to change anything. Uh, you're watching my fort. Yes, Haven wants to control everything, but they don't, they don't control the sun. They don't control light. You can't stop us from staring, even if you think it is spying. This is our land. I mean, I, you're free to watch. I don't know really what you're, what you're watching currently, because there isn't anything happening. Well, there will be soon. You know what? Sure. I'll be going now. Just stay here and do whatever you want. Maybe I'll come back later and decide to drive you off our lands. I mean, maybe they're not currently on our land, so in that case, I guess I can't really tell them to stop stop looking in our direction. It's just not going to help them. Outside of outside Fort Darkfin, you find a huge canvas tent. A giant sign in front reads Haven's Way Recruitment Center. A short line of dirty, sturdy Ukatish warriors, swamp runners, and general miscreants wait their turn to go inside the tent. Cut to the cut to the front and go inside. Uh, I don't really know why I would do that, but since the game gives me no other option, sure. Once inside, you are greeted by a fit older woman. She wears the, the crisply clean uniform of a sergeant of Haven. A uh, baton is tucked under her arm. She stares at a line of three Ukatish warriors, the smallest of which is twice her size. Uh, at your entry, two of them turn about confused. Uh, the third remains silent and still. With her baton, she taps the chest of the still one. You'll do. The rest, out. She pivots to stand at attention and clicks her heels together sharply. The lone remaining Ukat warrior imitates her. Sergeant Major Roberta Draper? Roberta Draper? Really? Someone's a fan of the Expanse, I see. Um, wait, was that... The show wasn't... Was the show out by the time the game was in development? I guess it must have been. Or I guess maybe maybe Jeff Vogel is a fan of the books, which are also quite good. Arguably better than the show, but I mean, the show's fine. Anyway, uh, this this obviously cannot be a coincidence. Um, hmm. uh, a fit older woman. Uh, I mean, obviously that description doesn't, doesn't fit Poppy Draper from the books or the show. Anyway, whatever. Um, uh, Major, Sergeant Major Roberta Draper, retired. Haven's Way agent for the Okat region. How may I serve my prince? Um, what's a retired sergeant doing here? She clicks her heels again. I'm too old for the army and too young to, to enjoy retirement. Haven's Way hired me to select army recruits. Why are Okatish warriors waiting outside? She snaps her heels together before answering. They are waiting to be evaluated for recruitment by the Haven army, my prince. How does the Haven army know which ones you recommend? You recommended. She turns to the swamp runner. What did I tell you happens if you lie about my evaluations? Stabbing, he crisply replies. She turns to you and smiles. See, it's a remarkably accurate system. Hmm, okay. Uh, why would an Ukat warrior want to join our army? Shouldn't we ask the Ukat warrior? She snaps her heels together. It is most likely our privilege... Uh, no, our providing of fine food, equipment, and the best military training in the known world. There is also curiosity. Some want to see the world beyond the Ukat. Or board him. There is no bad reason, my prince, as long as they do their duty to Haven. I mean, I don't disagree there. What are you looking for in a recruit? Strength of spirit and dutiful obedience. Hmm, okay. What's the Haven's... What's the Haven's way? The Haven's way? The Haven's Way Society represents the, the Haven ideal. She doesn't elaborate further when you ask what that ideal is. I recruit locals on behalf of the Haven Army. For every adequate recruit I find, I earn a small commission for myself. How many of those you recommend are actually accepted by the Army? All of them. I have never failed. Hmm. Impressive. Is it really that important to get vessels to fight for us? Haven is a small nation. We don't have enough warriors to make the whole, army, the, the whole world submit. Only recruiting warriors from our vessels enables us to prevail. Well, okay, fair enough. At ease. It was the greatest honor to be visited by you, my prince. The sergeant, uh, the sergeant major returns to evaluating and shouting at recruits. Oh, well, that was unexpected. Honestly, I didn't even realize this was a location to visit. I just happened to step next to it. So that was a, a fun little encounter. You approach the ruins of Havenite of a Havenite fort. Must be Fort Darkfen. There are soldiers and workers by the east gate. When you get close, you are surprised and relieved to see that they are Havenites too. 
Uh, not surprised at all, actually. General Ajax was able to slip a considerable force into Akatish lands, along with tools and supplies. You can give the order to rebuild this fort now. Indeed I can. Ah, there they are. Are they? Hello? You approach this camp, isolated in the deep reaches of the Okat. There are a bunch of Haven soldiers huddled together outside a ruined fort, enduring the unpleasant climate. One rises, approaches you, and kneels. He says, I am Chief Torvik. We were sent from the West Battalion to reclaim Fort Darkfin. We just need the order. His voice is calm and bland, as if he hasn't noticed that he is dripping wet and freezing cold. How did you get here? General Ajax gave us the order. After the ships dropped the battalions off here, they stayed, they stayed around. The general used them to sneak us back here. Uh, oh, the, the ships stayed around, I guess. Uh, have any problems? He gives a little shrug. Their Gennel clan to the south doesn't like us. Their Gennel? They are fairly fairly violent. They have not they have not been a concern. His casual, unruffled air is remarkable. Okay, well, I give the order. Get to work. Trovik turns and says in a calm, quiet voice, It is time to begin work. The bedraggled soldiers and craftsfolk give a hearty cheer. Then they pour into the ruins of Fort Darkfin. Nice. And instantly it's rebuilt. Okay, and everyone disappears except for this group here. Oh, fair enough. And there it is, now entering Fort Darkfen. Let's quickly get the lay of the land here, although I mean, I'm not expecting any particular surprises just from the, uh, the outpost itself. I don't think we've, we've seen a single named NPC wandering around outside in any of our forts so far, so... Oh, right, I also never did get around to uh, doing the level up that we get. that I really have anything that I need to spend those points on. Chief Torvik, hello. This large hall is meant to be a major center of trade and political dealings with the Okatish. All it is waiting for is the actual people. There is one Havenite official here now, setting everything up. He is the sort of bland, empty-faced bureaucrat you came to hate back in the palace. Muted, officious, and quietly judgmental. Hmm. Oh, that kind of typo. Huh? I got a... Different idea at first, but okay. Greetings, Prince Atatuo. I'm Chief Torvik. I hope your journey here was pleasant. I'm ready to give a report. Uh, I await your report, then. He checks his notes. General Ajax had difficulty getting materials through Gennelspan, so we were dropped off here by ship. So it is possible to reach here by ship. Why isn't it possible to get the entire army through here? Why do we have to find a way... Or why did we have to find a way through Gennelspan in the first place, huh? huh? Any actual... Justification for that, or is it just being hand-waved? Hmm, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so we dropped everything off here by ship. Our fort is now established. When the Okatish are our vessels again, we will be re we will be ready to immediately begin profitable trade with them. Good. Uh, how have the Okatish treated, treated you? We were afraid that we would be massacred by the locals, but the Brock clan has welcomed us. Their protection saved our warriors from a lot of unpleasant exercise. What can you do for me? I know about the political situation. My knowledge might help you to return the Ukatish to vesselhood. We also need more supplies. I think I know where they might be obtained. Good. Well, thank you for the report. Uh, he nods. It was my pleasure. More polite words. But this bureaucrat is surely judging you like everyone else. Do we know that? Maybe he's just... He just likes to be efficient. And not overly emotional. Which... I certainly can can agree with. Anyway, is there anything else you need? I have learned quite a lot. Um, how did you come to be here? Because apparently I want to know about my subject's personal history. When it was known that a full prince would pacify Sacramento, I, I was one of the chiefs personally selected to run your forts. It was a great honor. He shows no sign of pride or pleasure when he says this. Again, I mean, maybe he's silently judging, but maybe he actually just enjoys his work. Who can blame him? What was your early service like? He rattles off a list of the highlights. Chief Torvik has been blandly competent all over the known world, often in the face of constant warfare. Okay. Who selected you? I was chosen and personally briefed by Prince Sutter. Again, a great honor. Honor? A great honor. Not that you could tell from his expression. 
He told me that I had a good temperament for his mission for this mission because of the special nature of the Ukatish. What special nature? The Ukatish are always quick to take offense. They can be very rude and they hold grudges for a long time. Some vessels require contact with officials who are very calm. You will find that I am difficult to rise to anger. Huh, yeah, I mean I can see you actually being well suited for this place, so yeah. Good job, Sutter. You did something right. What do you think of the Ukatish? They are consumed by hatred of outsiders, of themselves. It seems like part of their nature. Nonetheless, they are hard workers and they keep bargains, so they can still be valuable vessels. So yeah, that sounds like a very um, very reasonable uh, assessment, honestly. I'd like to discuss the Okatish more, I guess. Of course, a difficult and unusual people with a complicated attitude that can make them hard to deal with. They are a clan-based society, and the strongest clan rises to the throne and makes all decisions. You will need to make sure that the clan who holds their home warren is willing to obey their treaty with us. Right. Tell me about their attitude. This is a hard environment, and it has made hard people. The mud and disease makes everyone look down on the Okatish, including the Okatish. It makes them pricky, prick, pricky, prickly and resentful. Uh, for more, I would talk to Gerrid. He's upstairs. He has spent some time studying this unusual vessel. Okay. Tell me about the clans. There are many of them. They constantly divide, combine, and fight. Most are small and insignificant. There are four of importance in their pol politics now. The Ike, the Gannel, the Brock, and the Borgen. Alright. What of the Ike? You may have met them already. They control much of the southern Ukat. They are mainly traders. They have few warriors and no interest in claiming the crown. For now, anyway. What of the Gannel? And they are a powerful and dangerous clan. Much of their wealth comes from controlling the Gannel span. I believe they attacked you there. They hate Haven and are only interested in driving us out. What of the Brock? They control most of the lands around us. They're a strong, ambitious clan, despite the Borgen and their Gannel and the Gannel raiding them. They are based in Chin to the east. It might be worthwhile to meet their leaders. Well, been there, done that. What of the Borgen? The Borgen hold the home warren and the crown. Their leader is King Borgen the fifty third. All I know about him is that he's old. He seems to want peace with us. At least he's not bothered by our merchants and envoy. You can find him in the home warren, far to the east. Meeting him would probably be interesting, at the least. Right. Okay. Nothing new here, but... Um, let's discuss this fort. We are well established. Our defenses are strong. The Okatish warriors are not skilled at attacking fortifications. We are under no danger now. We could use more resources, but that is always true. We are preparing for, polit for politics and trade. When the Okatish are a vessel again, this fort will provide great value to Haven. Is there anything I can do to get more resources? In fact, there is a good opportunity in front of us. There is a swamp with good bog iron to the north. It is called Mercala, and it is ours. Unfortunately, my scouts say it is infested with monsters, like pretty much every mine ever. We don't have enough soldiers to march north and retake it, but you should be able to do this easily. Right. We don't have enough soldiers here, but you four should be perfectly fine. Right. We own Mercala? We purchased it with good gold before Queen Charon withdrew from Haven from Sacramentum. They never paid us to regain it, therefore it is ours. Yep, sounds like it to me. Why do we want Mercala back? Such swamps generate a good, constant, profitable flow of bog iron. The iron of the Ukant is their great wealth. If we had it, you would receive more iron to use to re rebuild your forts. Right, and we definitely want some more iron, because I am about to build another smithy here, which is going to reduce our iron income by a bit. I'm not sure by how much exactly, but it is definitely going to tip the balance um, to our disadvantage right now. Uh, so yeah, I definitely need to uh, secure some sources of iron soon. Uh, where is Mercala? It is north, in a particularly cold, murky, and unpleasant stretch of swamp. Right. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Well, I guess that's all we need for now. Thank you. I mean, the game seems to insist that he's, uh, you know, I don't know, secretly, uh, that he secretly hates us, but I don't know. I, I kind of like him. I like efficiency and, you know, a re reliance on reason rather than, you know, an... Uh, over-the-top display of emotions, in case you couldn't tell, just from 
the way I <laughs> do all of these Let's Plays. Sage Garrett, hello. The Sage of Fort Darkfin is all professionalism, like the Chief, I guess. She is stocking the shelves with blank scrolls, empty ledgers, and unused quill pens. She is ready for business, and a lot of it. She curtsies deeply when you approach. Welcome to Fort Darkfin, Prince. I'm Sage Garrett, record keeper. I'm just a scribe, alas, and I also study the Yukatish a bit. There is little I can do for you, but I will do what I can. Um, what records do you keep? We plan to send lots of shipments of goods in and out of Sacramento. We are going to make a lot of people rich, collect a lot of taxes, deal with lots of petty clan leaders. Each transaction, each payment, requires a piece of paper. I also keep some of the battalion history. You expect a lot of paperwork? Piles, heaps, tons, mountains. We will build another wing of, the, of this fort out of it. Out of it or for it? Okay. Uh, the battalion's history? The West Battalion has another name. It is the 5th Army, 6th Battalion. We have a proud history. We have served and lost warriors in dozens of vassal states, and we remember all of it. Okay. You study the Yukatish? Of course. It is no struggle. They are a fascinating people. This is a hard, dirty land. Cold, disease, many of them die young. They are consumed by grudges. The fire of their anger keeps them warm. Where do these grudges come from? Olden days, of course. Vessels often have long memories. Children here, if they survive infancy, suckle on endless stories about how cruel the Yukatish were treated. How did the Vol and Ariel treat them? Once the Vol would capture Ukatish and enslave them in quarries, the Ariel, well, they are arrogant. They mocked the Ukatish, and stories tell sometimes hunted them for sport. All this happened centuries ago. We will never know which stories are true and which false. I have collected some of them in my books. How are the Ukatish treated now? At some point, the Ukatish became able to make vicious and excellent iron weaponry. They remastered, or <laughs> remastered now. They mastered techniques for fighting in the swamps, raids, tricks, traps, and ambushes. The Vol and Ariel have not hunted the Ukatish for many, many years. Hmm. Well, they certainly make it sound different. Um, do you have any advice for me? The Ukatish will always hate us. However, if we are cordial, they will make deals with us and keep their end of them. Just don't insult them. If you do, they will never ever forget. Be polite, even if you have to bite your lip until it bleeds. Yeah, I'm trying my best. And succeeding pretty well, so far. Uh, Yukatish... How do you learn about the Yukatish? I talk to them. It is the best way. They are always willing to tell stories about how, how put upon they are. Talk to people in their own towns. Be polite and you will learn a lot. Is there anything I can do to help? No, oh, there is. She thinks about this. I hesitate to ask, but... There is a place called Fort Bannerspire. If you ever have reason to be there... Oh, I, I do, actually. There is something I would love to learn. What is Fort Bannerspire? An old ruin to the northeast. It's a massive structure of vault stone sinking into the mire on the north coast. The Yukatish were really proud of it once. They used it to train warriors and impress visitors. It was built about 40 years ago, abandoned about 30. What do you want me to learn? I guess, what happened? Why did they build it? Why did it crumble into ruin? Why was it abandoned? Uh, see if they have any records there. I think if I knew, it would tell me a lot about the Yukatish. All right. I'll see what I can do. Should I take a look at these? Tale of the Yukat Swamps, as told to Sage, to Sage Garrett of Haven. Once in the days before the Ike rose, a band of Ariel, Ariel Blessed entered the southern Yukat. They were hunting our kind, as they did. They saw us as just more mirelings, not proper folk. This was in the days when we were mastering Ironcraft. Our hooked spears were new to the south. New to the Ariel. Our warriors hid in the slime and they hooked the ankles of the Ariel as they rushed past. That sounds nasty. They fell and hobbled into the swamps, slow and hurt. We kept them out there and they rotted. This was how the Ariel learned to not hunt us. They still see us as mirelings, though. Hmm. A tale of the Yukat swamps as told to Sage Garrett of Haven. This was in my grandfather's time, after the Vol had stopped enslaving us and had instead turned on their own. Hmm, interesting. Merchants of the Brock went there to buy their stone. They were to build a mighty fortress. The Vol told them of ways to keep the stone from sinking into the mire, but they were all lies. Oh, okay, so that's how they betray them. Yeah, that makes more sense then, if that's actually the case. The Vol never treat us honest. We bought the stone, the fort sank, and all the Brock efforts came to ruin. Literally. Always remember, this is the life of the Yukatish. The entire world is ringed around us, looking in, pointing at us, and laughing. Yes, yes, yes. We get it. We get the idea. All right, well, got some new quests here. And actually, there is more to this place than I thought. 
Hello, Darkfin. The training hall of Fort Darkfin is mostly empty. It's waiting and hoping for a long procession of merchants and miners. The head trader of Fort Darkfin approaches. Greetings, Prince. I'm Dagfin. Chief Torvik told me to help you if you came by. I can aid you in managing Haven's resources. Tell me about yourself first. I'm the quartermaster of Fort Darkfin. There is an... There is an awkward silence. Oh, uh, you wanted more? Chief Torvik asked us not to engage in excess storytelling or sentimentality. Well, I guess he would do that. Uh, I could use rest and supplies. Of course. We set up a bedroom for you upstairs. For equipment, we have nothing better than what you already have. Right. Uh, I want to exchange resources. Honestly, I kind of forgot that this was even a thing. Huh. I need more iron. I mean, I do. Stone, wood, and quicksilver gain iron. I think we're maxed out on all three other kinds of resource. Thing is, we don't really need, need it that badly. We should be able to uh, turn our turn our um, iron balance around pretty pretty soon. So yeah, let's not do that, but is there anything I can do for him maybe? We can sell th things to him, which is not super necessary. Um, wait. All right, we have this, this band that I can use, and this one for the extra poison resist. I mean, honestly, I'm probably not going to. Then again, um, I guess depending on the dungeon, we're either going to encounter almost exclusively or to a large to a large extent humanoid enemies or human enemies or no humans at all. So that one makes sense to switch around. Putting this one on just for fighting reptiles, slimes or bugs, I don't know. I guess honestly this is not super necessary compared to this. This will just help in any situation and this only in a select few. Yeah, honestly, what I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'm, I am going to hold on to this in case we actually need some extra poison resist, though. Um, okay. Well, I guess I don't need anything then. No quest from that guy, it looks like. Uh, okay. Hmm. Right, I did use that one scroll of life. That's what I'm gonna... Store away for now. Don't need a second scroll of mercy. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna leave his inventory not fully, not fully taken up for now. Right. I'm also gonna do some building here. Yeah, it's probably gonna. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna travel back south and turn in those quests. I guess that's probably going to be it for this episode, but let's, uh, first of all, we need to claim these. So I'm thinking Smithy, Apothecary, and uh, Weaver, actually, so maybe we get another um, backspace. I think we still get one more. I might be wrong, but we'll see. Let's see here. Smithy, Apothecary, Weaving Room. As if the game considers these the, the most valuable anyway. I guess I could also go for an extra carpenter. Barracks are just gonna help... Wait. Uh, gives you damage bonus. Oh. I, honestly, I kind of forgot about this. About the fact that we can uh, get these passive bonuses. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, before we can afford having multiple barracks, that's definitely something I'm going to go go ahead and, uh, you know, make sure we have as many of these as possible at some point. But, uh, yeah, we definitely want a steady income of iron before we build those. For now, I'm going to focus on the others. Yeah, we can definitely build this one, too. I'm going to find a place for it somewhere. All right, uh, let's place things. Smithy, apothecary. Yes. Wait. Oh, we don't have the uh, Quicksilver for it. I mean, that's fine. We have plenty of, of money. Lots of money. The 
Carpenter can go in here. Let's see. Um, what do you sell? Bows. You sell bows. We have the longbow. We can't afford, or we, yeah, we have access to the ash longbow now, which is just a straight upgrade. Not a whole lot extra damage, but I, mean, I guess it's worth getting. Suppose. Wait. Yeah, obviously this is a little bit better. Just a little bit, but we'll equip that. This one will get so eventually. Uh, shields? No one really needs shields, particularly. Hmm, that being said. Wait, why do we. Why do you have this equipped rather than anything with augment slots, though? Is there any reason to have this? I guess its defense is decent. In fact, yeah. Okay, everything is up to this point has been worse defense-wise. I see, and this is basically just the uh, the slotted version of of the vault shield that she has. Hmm. So we could buy this. And in fact, this is not very expensive. So I'm just gonna let's change that right away. Uh, you guys, yeah, you don't use shields. That's right. So this one will get sold as well. In fact, well, not not right now. Once um, you won. Wait, is this even on the horn? Um, the damage is the same. Is it? Wait, what am I missing here? Tier two gear, tier one gear. They both have one augment slot. Ninety to twenty-eight damage. Thirty percent turn. A thirty percent chance to weak to apply weakness for two turns. Isn't this the exact same thing? Oh wait. Oh, it does. For some reason, it displays the um, damage has already increased. Okay, so technically, this is slightly better damage. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's also not very expensive, so I'm gonna get that. We do have to uh, switch that augment over, though. I guess I'm probably also gonna be getting a better staff here. Yes, we have the Electrum Rod, and we can get this one. Sure. I mean, weapon upgrades are definitely worth paying some money for. We even get an extra slot here. Oh, gonna worry about that. Honestly, I, I'm probably, I probably should worry about equipment and also leveling up in between episodes. Just gonna uh, go ahead and see if we can get a bigger backpack. Do we have a... No, we don't have one yet. Hmm. I thought I built another weaver recently, and maybe I did not. Okay. Oh, okay. We have access to... I think everything past the energy potion might be new. Maybe not the iron skin. Battle potion. Hmm. I mean, that's neat, but not particularly necessary. Obviously, what I really want is the um, better healing potion, eventually, and then the power potion. 19 to 55 versus 15 to 35. I mean, yeah, I guess the the top end is definitely a lot better, and the average should be quite a bit better too. So yeah, definitely want this. We want all of our healing potions upgraded to that eventually, but it looks like we'll need at least one extra. Uh, least one extra apothecary before we get that. Uh, install augments and runes. I mean, yeah, again, I'm, I'm gonna take care of equipment upgrades and, you know, maintenance later. That's not particularly interesting to watch, um, as has probably been this entire episode so far. Not particularly interesting, that is. Uh, let's see here. Weapons. Yes. Spears. Steel Spear is what we already have. Darn. Okay. Folded Steel Glaive is the next one in line. Wait. That's worse? It shouldn't be. Oh, okay. Again, it 
the weapon does uh, include the uh, the augmentations slotted inside, slotted into it. So, yeah, takes that into consideration. Um, so yeah, the, definitely the next one would be better, but we don't have access to it yet. You have this axe, which is actually pretty nice. The extra crit chance, and you don't need weapons from here. So maybe we can get better armor. Let's see. Right now. We have the steel breastplate and we could get the iron plate armor. Better protection, quite a bit better actually. Um, stun resist, same speed penalty actually. So, yeah, we definitely want this. I mean, there's not even any question about that. Yeah, we definitely want that. Uh, you have the iron scale armor. Oh, wow, we can. Upgrade that quite a bit, can we not? Quite so, yeah. Again, same penal penalties and bonuses, but a lot better armor, so... Yeah, obviously we want this. I mean, again, I'm gonna go over go over all the various equipment changes and stuff in between episodes. Uh, for now, I'm going to... head back to the other fortress and tell... Chief, uh, what's his face? Oh, this is not gonna look particularly good here. Um, earn 17, upkeep 13. Oh, we actually made some profit here because we didn't have any thefts. That was very lucky. Yeah, but we are only earning six Quicksilver, so we lost quite a bit there. Well, lost four units. Didn't make a whole lot of money, honestly, but that's fine. Not too worried about that. Hello, Chief Clive. I passed through Ganelspan. You tell Chief Clive the story. It will be useful to know a way for our scouts and couriers to sneak around Ganelspan. However, we won't be able to send soldiers or merchants. You can change this, I'm sure. All you need to do is make the Ukantish our vessels again. Right. Any more ideas for things I should do? Everything here is under control, Prince. Don't worry about me. The future of our entire colony rests with you. Okay, quest has been completed, and we didn't get any extra experience for that, but it's fine, I guess. Let's see here. Right, and reclaiming the Okat should be a quest from the Meyerfangs, from the Quartermaster, who's then also going to send us to rebuild the second fort, which we should be able to report right away, since we obviously just did that. Was that you? Fort Darkfen is being rebuilt. That's true. Wait, did he tell us to do that? Um, oh, maybe the quest was actually from the general. Hold on a second. Just... Ah, oh, yeah. Gandalspen can be passed. Right. Wait, no, never mind. General Ajax looks embarrassed. I'm sorry for making that sound difficult. Haven has centuries of training, experience, and equipment by it. Um, what? Centuries of training, experience, and equipment by it? What are you talking about? I should not have suggested that passing a vessel checkpoint would be difficult. He looks thoughtful. Prince, I'm surprised. I had heard that he would be hesitant to explore and fight to obey the Queen's orders. Yet you have done so much. If I can be so bold, why? Um... Hmm. It amuses me. I mean, I am playing a game here, so technically that's the reason I'm doing all of this, but... I mean, honestly, I don't want to say that I'm following the Queen's orders because she ordered me to. But then, really, that's... That is the reason, isn't it? I will obey them. I mean, I will. I'm not giving, you know, any... Any judgment, any any personal opinion, I'm just stating the facts. I was ordered and I am fo following the orders, yeah. I understand. Queen Sharon commands great respect among all of us, both all of us, uh, both citizens and soldiers. And her own family, I guess. So, but we did not advance a quest? Hmm. Do you have intelligence that can help me proceed? Huh. Oh, now we advance the quest, okay. Alas, we still know little of happenings in the northern Ukat. We do know that the largest city has not changed. It is Chind. It is 
uh, it is sure to be worthwhile to go there and speak with whoever is in power. Well, uh, what do you know about Chen? A wealthy and influential place. Many people. Fine weaponsmiths. Maybe even stone buildings and clean water. It is sure to be ruled by a clan of some importance. Who's in charge? Ajax shakes his head. Nobody has come to our camp who has recent news of the Northern Cut. Well, I have. What should I try to do there? Uh, Ajax looks nervous. I'm not sure... Uh, I'm not used to giving such advice to those of the ruling classes. The wrong words can be very harmful to my career <laughs> and my health. I will say that most infiltrators would learn who is in charge. See if they can be useful to us. Right. I have made contact with Chind, actually. The general has Sage Bayama emerge and take notes. You tell him the current situation. Valuable information. Combine this with what we have learned since you left. This Brock clan is wealthy, competent, and not entirely hated. Yeah, I mean, they really do seem like the perfect candidate for our allies. And I very much doubt that my meeting with the uh, with the Borgen clan is going to change anything about that, but we'll see. Uh, they could be useful, a useful resource for us. While you are gone, I will try to learn more about them. Their resources, their strengths and weaknesses. Right. What is left for me to explore in Okatish lands? You are finally getting close to the home warren. When Haven has left these lands, it was... When Haven last left these lands, it was the ruling seat of the Okatish. Nobody has told us that this has changed. No, as far as I'm aware, it's actually still the case. At last, you can confront their leader. He checks his notes. King Borgen the 53rd. And perhaps he will just submit to us and pay us our due. If not, well, that is why we are here. Right. Okay, now we have that quest officially. And what do you want exactly for Darkfin is being rebuilt? Huh. Indeed it is. I didn't remember that we had a quest reminding us to do so, but apparently we, apparently we did. Uh, then we can tell Queen, tell the Queen that the lost forts of the Okatish have been rebuilt. It is a, it is a great thing. It's a major part of our orders, so we all get paid a bonus. Don't I get a bonus? Um, aren't you a prince? Why do you need a reward? Seems like Un is coming down a little at last. When? Okay. Unrelated, I guess. Well, yeah, I suppose I don't need a bonus. I still would like one. Hello, Sage Bayama. Uh, do you want anything from me? Uh, no, Prince. Hmm. Wait. Uh, I know that some Okatish hope for, though. What some Okatish hope for? Those who want Haven to return? They want favorite status. How oh, un-Okatish of you not asking me to favor your clan? Favorite status, yeah, okay. I think that's all we can do here. Oh, the journal is a little bit full right now. Well, I'm going to go over this list um, off camera just to make sure uh, I'm not forgetting about anything, but I mean, should be done with all the quests down here. And we definitely have a bunch of quests up here that, I, that we know about. And the Calamity quest might take place in one of these areas here. I think we were told that it was at the northern coast. But I might be misremembering. Maybe it's just in the northern half of uh, the Ukat somewhere. This place here remains a mystery, but I'm sure that's going to be answered eventually. And then, of course, we have the Ashen Foundry, which maybe we'll just do that one next, just to claim an, a maybe relatively easy and simple source of extra iron. Uh, no quest associated with it, and it doesn't seem like we're going to get one anytime soon. So, yeah, maybe we'll just head on over there and grab that real quick. I might even want to take out the Ganel estate soon-ish and not just not wait much longer with our retaliatory strike. We'll see. I mean, technically that's a, that's a favor for the, uh, for the Brock clan, though, so maybe I should make sure to have heard both possible allies met and, and talk to both, I mean, before we, uh, you know, start helping one or the other. But, I mean, not not that I think it's going to make a difference either way. But, well, anyway, um, I'm going to call it an episode here. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.